This morning in our Pushing the Limits series, we take a look at a project that's redefining the boundaries of speed. The British-based Bloodhound team is building a car they hope will travel more than a thousand miles an hour. That's well over the speed of sound. It would shatter the current land speed record. Charlie Daggett took to the sky with the car's driver. He's a former fighter jet pilot who's training his body to withstand the physical toll by flying in an aerobatic plane. This is just a hint of what's to come. A test run. Crank the beast up to a mere 200 miles an hour. We'll see how she handles. 10 years and $40 million in the making. The man behind the wheel and the project is Andy Green. A former RAF fighter pilot who's held the record since 1997, before you could Google land speed record. If the car doesn't leap into the air and explode, <laughs> I was delighted to find out. <laughs> and it is possible to drive supersonic, and we did it. But if that ride had doors, the Bloodhound is aiming to blow them off. We're not just trying to break the current record. 763 miles an hour. You're going to shatter it. We're going to have an engineering adventure that will push back the boundaries of physics, literally push back the boundaries of human endeavor. It will also push the boundaries of the human body. So we are simulated being on the To get a hint of what that feels like, Green took me up in a stunt plane where he trains his body to take the full load of G-forces he'll experience during the real thing, simulating the exact conditions of the thousand mile an hour run. I was just hoping I didn't pass out. So we give a clearance to roll, the full reheat gives us one G of acceleration. That's 20 miles an hour per second. Eight seconds later, we're doing 200 miles an hour. Now looking for the, the rocket. About 350 firing the rocket. We're going to get the rocket firing now. 1,001, 1,002. Every second I'm counting is another 40 miles an hour of speed. So we're doing 500 miles an hour already. As the blood rushed to my head, it felt like it was about to explode. We're now doing a mile every five seconds. Then came the worst part of all, deceleration at three times the force of gravity. Remember to touch your stomach, touch your legs in three, two, one. Now, 3G deceleration. So 900, 850, 800 miles an hour, 750. We're already down below the speed of sound, still slowing down. It feels so slow, you could pretty much get out of walk. <laughs> How are you feeling now? Exhilarated. But it feels like it just got slammed right in the chest. I mean, the force on the body. Yeah, it, exactly so. It's, it's fairly unpleasant, and it's in all sorts of directions the human body isn't really designed to, uh, to take. No, I didn't know which way was up. I mean, literally, I didn't know which way was up. The gut-wrenching G-force is generated from tapping into the lunatic fringe of technology. They took the Rolls-Royce jet engine found in the Eurofighter and mounted it on top of a rocket. Yes, a rocket. This is what it looked like in testing. The stats are face-meltingly staggering. 25,000 feet, the altitude it would reach if pointed straight in the air, 17 times the height of the Empire State Building, 135,000 horsepower, every Indy 500 car on the track combined seven times over. At top speed, she'll cover a mile in 3.6 seconds, more than four football fields per second. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. They face stiff competition from the United States and the proven 500-mile-an-hour North American Eagle. And from Australia down under, the Invader, although still primarily in the planning stages. Bloodhound leads the hunt for now, which brings us back to that test run. No sign of nerves as Green dons his fetching fireproof onesie. It is as fast as this car has ever gone, but the plan is to reach more than five times that speed. The result, 210 miles per hour. When you got out of there, you were as giddy as I've seen you. Exciting day for you? We came here to, sh to show just how good this car is and just how ready this car is to go faster. The car didn't just do that. It doesn't do it easily. It did it in spades. The team is now gearing up to smash their own world record next year. And with 
the competition choking on the afterburner, the only thing the bloodhound is chasing is destiny. For CBS This Morning, Charlie Daggett, Newquay, England. Bravo, wow. Charlie Daggett. Yeah. <laughs> it's a rocket with wheels. Slow down.